We've been kind of focused on the country. Is this the beginning of a new chapter? Is the upgrade um, of your credit rating a, a signal to investors that it can be time to, to get back and, and, and be really involved? Yes, it is exactly uh, it is exactly that. Uh, um, it's uh, uh, the last few years have been uh, uh, good years for the economy. We are growing with uh, rates uh, exceeding four percent of the GDP. Unemployment is registering the fastest drop uh, in the eurozone, and we probably lar have the largest fiscal surplus, so uh, things have uh, indeed recovered. And uh, uh, I mean, I would agree, uh, uh, the upgrade uh, uh, signals the beginning of a new chapter, and we hope to continue making good progress, promoting our, re our reform agenda, and uh, providing more opportunities for, mm. for a new business and in new investment. And, and good, good morning to you, Harris. So let me ask you a little bit about the banking sector. Uh, how is the banking sector, how far through recovery? Have we put the crisis behind us in the banking sector? You'll be pleased to know I had to go and remind myself about, uh, about a few of the details of, yes. the, of the crisis in Cyprus. So far, it has slipped from my mind. But um, tell me, how close to recovery are we, Hellenic Bank, purchasing some of the good assets from some of the other rival banks, dealing with those NPLs? So, so, so I mean, you're right, the banks were at the heart of uh, the, the crisis a few years back, uh, but uh, it's all changed uh, as far as the Cypriot banking sector. Uh, uh, NPLs, um, legacy NPLs are the problem. They continue to be a challenge, but progress has been steady. In fact, lately progress has been fast, uh, and during the summer, um, half uh, the NPLs of the banking sector have been carved out of the, uh, of the, of the banking system. Um, so it shows that there also mm. good progress is being made and the, the banks are able to, to offer new credit to finance and essentially the strong recovery of the economy. How do you stop the banks getting too big relative to the economy? Is that something of a preoccupation in Cyprus uh, well, following the crisis? Well, uh, I mean, we, we had the banking sector which was eight times the size mm. of our GDP. Uh, and it's, now? <laughs> it's just over three times times the size of, the, of our GDP and we are a small economy, we are an international business centre, so that's something to be expected. Uh, um, what's probably more important is that our banking sector is now based on much healthier foundations with new capital being injected and obviously much more uh, credible supervision directly by the, by the ECB. You, you, you are uh, an international place of business, famous for Russian investors. I wonder what's the state of the Russian investment in, in Cyprus right now and what have the effects been of U.S. sanctions? Um, so I should, uh, we should make a distinction between uh, uh, deposits, bank deposits, uh, which used to be significant, but they have uh, shrunk significantly um, and it's... Um, basically a neg neg negligible presence um, from, uh, from real business. Um, um, uh, Cyprus-Russian connections primarily relate to tourism. So it's a completely different, uh, it, it's a completely different uh, economic relation than what, what it was in the past. Cyprus offers opportunities to uh, uh, to, uh, in, across a number of sectors, it is not reliant on, on any one economy, definitely not to the Russian economy. For instance, we, we import none of our uh, energy requirements from, from Russia. So we have a very diversified economy and we are reaching out to a number of markets. Well, I, you, you mentioned also the relationship with Greece. I wonder about the relationship with Turkey. Should investors be concerned about the, the closeness of your economy with that of uh, Erdogan's? Well, well uh, uh, re regrettably, we do not have economic uh, or commercial ties with uh, Turkey due to the longstanding Turkish uh, political stance. So, uh, no, we are not facing any direct or, in, or indirect uh, um, uh, impact due to the uh, to, due to the uncertainty regarding the Turkish economy. Um, uh, we are we are actually focused and uh, linked closely interlinked to to the European economies, to other regional markets, and uh, what Cyprus has achieved to. Uh, time and time again is to be presented as 
as, as an island of stability, certainty, uh, a safe economy mm. uh, offering opportunities in a number of sectors. Uh, but of course, at the time of the crisis, it, it, it didn't seem that way. Uh, granted, oh, things yes. have changed very much yes, now. Definitely. Capital controls were introduced at that time. And I was reading some uh, academic research that was talking about the impact psychologically that that can have on a country. Do you sense that, uh, is Cyprus different in, in, in that regard, in people's attitude to putting money in bank accounts, for example, as a result of those capital controls? Because some of those rather wealthier uh, bank uh, customers had to be bailed in, didn't they? Um, actually, we have moved on. I mean, the capital controls belong to the past. They have been fully lifted a number of years ago. Uh, it's a completely different situation on the ground. Confidence has been restored and um, Cyprus is uh, um, uh, a rapidly going, uh, growing mm. uh, EU economy. Uh, and uh, if I could use one word to describe the situation, is one of uh, being back to, back to normal with good prospects ahead of us. OK, uh, we'll remember that then, um, Harris. In terms of uh, things that you might be concerned about, Brexit, of course, is something that's being much discussed of late. Uh, Britain, I read from our, my, my colleagues at Bloomberg tell me that uh, Britain has become the world's largest importer of Cypriot halloumi, which, oh, yes. uh, which seems like a big win for the Cypriot economy. Um, are you concerned about trade relations, though, with Britain as a result of Brexit? Is it a threat to that booming halloumi trade? Well, um, uh, we are concerned about Brexit, not only for halloumi, uh, even though it's very tasty, I have to say, <laughs> but, for a number of, but for a number of reasons. And let me say that I, uh, I strongly believe that we should have uh, a deal. And um, a number of smaller agreements is no substitute to an overall Brexit deal, which should um, take care of all the main issues. That's what we are advocating, that's what we are working for, and I hope we are able to, uh, to achieve uh, a deal that will ensure that not only the uh, UK Cyprus trade and economic relations remain strong, but um, EU-UK relations uh, remain as, uh, as promising.